Hi boys and girls, I have just another fun read aloud for you. Um, this is called Jack and the Beanstalk, and you've probably heard many versions of Jack and the Beanstalk. It's like The Three Billy Goats Gruff, Chicken Little, Little Red Riding Hood, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Sometimes people retell these stories or they change them a little bit, but they're all around the same type of original story that's been passed down for many years. So this is Jack and the Beanstalk, and it's adapted by Mara Alperin. So same author as the other ones that we read um, as well, like Chicken Little and the Three Billy Goats Gruff that I read last week. So here we go, Jack and the Beanstalk. Here's the title page, and you can see Jack there, that big beanstalk. Deep in the countryside lived a widow and her son Jack. Their cottage was crumbling, and their clothes were patched. They were very, very poor. One day, Jack's mother said, We must sell our cow. Take her to market, Jack, and bring home some gold pieces. And so he set off to town. But before Jack had gotten very far, he met a strange little man. That's a fine cow, the man said. I'll swap you five magic beans for her. Magic beans, said Jack. Are they really magic? Hmm. Magic they are, or chop off my beard and knit it into a sweater, croaked the little man. Magic beans. Jack couldn't wait to tell his mother. He clutched them tightly and ran all the way home. Hmm. Did he follow his mom's directions? Do you think she's going to be very happy? And why do you think she might be upset when Jack gets home? Jack's mother was furious. We need money, not useless, useless old beans, she cried, and she threw them out of the window in disgust. But late that night, a tiny bean sprout poked out from the ground, and then it grew and grew and grew. The next morning, the beanstalk stretched high into the sky. The beans were magic, Jack cried, but what's at the top? Jack climbed up, up, up the beanstalk. At last, he reached the very top. There, shimmering in the sunlight, was... Hmm. Make a prediction. What do you think is up there? A magnificent castle. Just then, Jack's stomach rumbled. I must find some breakfast, he thought. He tapped on the castle door. The door creaked open, and a huge giantess smiled down. Hello, Jack shouted up. Please, do you have any food? You poor thing, boomed the giantess. Come right in, but quickly, before the giant gets up. What a marvelous feast! There was an enormous loaf of bread and a gigantic jar of jelly. Jack dug in at once. But suddenly, the room began to shake. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my goodness, cried the giantess. He's coming. And she shoved Jack under a teacup to hide. Into the room stomped a big, scary, hungry giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman, he said. But be, be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. T don't be silly, there's nobody here but us, the giantess scolded. Now go and wash before breakfast. Where do you see Jack there in the illustration? Yeah, right there at the bottom. He's under that teacup. Jack trembled. I must leave now, he thought. He was halfway down the hall when he heard a... Squawk! 
It was a hen with bright gold feathers. Help, she clucked. Set me free and I'll lay you golden light eggs every morning. Jack scooped up the hen, but then heard huge footsteps thundering after them. Here's the big giant. I'll show you this one. Fee, fi, fo, fum, roared the giant. I smell the blood of Englishmen. And there he is. Jack raced out the door. He jumped. Oh, no. And slid down the beanstalk. Down, down, down. All the way back to his cottage. Mother, quick, bring the axe, he shouted. Mm. Why is he saying bring the axe? What do you think Jack's gonna do? Jack's mother swung the axe at the beanstalk. Thwack! It thuttered, shuddered, it shook, and then the giant came tumbling down. Fee, fi, fo, crash! And then that was the end of the giant. Jack hugged his mother tight. Look what I found, he said. And he showed her the golden hen. Oh, Jack, said his mother, I'm glad you're safe. And you were right about those magic beans. But look at his mom. There's those eggs. So Jack, his mother, and the golden head, all, hen all lived happily ever after. And with lots of golden eggs, they were never poor again. So if you've ever heard of another Jack version of the Jack and the Beanstalk story, you may have heard a different ending or different parts to the story.